Oh God, you are holy. Oh God, you are holy. None compares to your holiness. No one can stand to see. Oh, you are blessed. Is the Lord God? Is the Lord God? Yes, Lord. Is the Lord God? Yes, you are. You are holy. You are the most holy. Is the Lord God? Is the Lord God most high? Holy, most holy is the Lord God. Yes, you are, Lord. Is the Lord God? Yes, you are, Lord. Is the Lord? Tara Bradush at Ilibidi in Blackatuzi Bradush Makazuta Labradesia in Brukutu Prazita Libradush Mandin Katuzi Bradesia in Kitu Zimbrada Zuta Libregadesia. Father, we worship you. Father, we give you praise. You are the one who sits above the circle of the heads, the one who clothes himself with honor and majesty, the King of glory, the Lord of hosts, Yahweh. You ride on your on the clouds with your name Yahweh. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we give you praise. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We reverence you, Jesus. We lift your name on high. Hallowed be your holy name, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we worship you, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, in this video, we're going to be praying about some prayer points that um the lord laid on my heart from the movie win if you have not watched the movie win the link is pasted below this video you can click on it and watch it and i know that the lord will speak greatly to you through that movie in the name of jesus i know that you will be blessed in the name of jesus but right now we're going to be praying some prayer points that emanated from that movie praise the name of the lord first of all i just want us to lift up the name of jesus and just magnify the name of jesus and just bless his holy name the movie when is talking about our journey as christians our race in this earth that we're just here for just a time our final eternal hope will be determined how we run this christian race how we run well we must finish well this race that the lord has committed us to hallelujah so we're going to be praying some prayers as the lord leads and first of all i just want you to worship god give him some praise give him all the glory only him deserves the glory only him deserves the honor only the lord deserves all the adorations lift his name on high hallelujah father we just want to worship you thank you jesus thank you lord 
I want you to raise up your voice and say, Lord, thank you for creating and loving me. Thank you, Father, for creating and loving me. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for every little thing. The birds that sings, even the trees that claps their hands for the bread of life that is in me. Lord, I just want to say thank you, Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Just lift up your voice and worship him. Adore our Father, the Holy God, the Holy One of Israel, the Holy God. The holy wise God, the immortal, invisible. Lift up the name of Jesus and just worship Jesus. Hallelujah, Father. We bless your name, O oh God. Blessed be your holy name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. So we're going to be raising this prayer point from scriptures. I'm going to call the first prayer point. Um, I'm going to be reading from the book of First Peter, chapter one, chapter two, verse twenty-one. First Peter chapter two, verse twenty-one, and it says. For to this you were called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. We're going to pray and say, Dear Lord, don't let my feet fail in my walk with you, Lord. Help me to follow your example. Help me to follow your footstep, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, do not let my feet fail. Help me, O oh God, in my walk with you. Don't let me fall. Don't let me waver. Don't let me falter. Help me to follow your footstep. Help me to follow after your example that you have laid down for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you lifting up that prayer to God? Lift up the name of Jesus. Just lift up that prayer right now. Lift up that prayer. The Lord Jesus, my feet will not fail. Help me to follow your footstep, Lord. Help me to follow your examples, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to be taking the second prayer point from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2 says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our feet, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So the prayer we're going to be praying is, God, Lord Jesus, do not let me lose my focus on you, the finisher of my feet. Help me to look unto you, Jesus, and you alone in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord Jesus, you are the finisher of my feet. Help me not to lose my focus on you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Raise up that prayer to Jesus. Raise that prayer up to the Lord. The Lord, help me not to lose my focus on you. Help me not to look to any man but to you, Jesus, the author and finisher of my feet in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We are going to be taking the next prayer point from Colossians chapter 3, verse 22 to 24. And I read it right now. It says, Bond servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in sincerity of heart, fearing God. And whatever you do, do it utterly as unto the Lord and not unto men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So we're going to be taking this prayer with me and say, Lord, take away from my heart every form of pride. Help me not to be distracted by the praises of men. Help me not to be a man pleaser, but a God pleaser in the name of Jesus. Raise up that that that's prayer unto the Lord and begin to pray that Lord Jesus help me, oh God, that it to desire your commendation and not the not, not the commendation of men. And don't let me be distracted with the praises of men. Oh God, Father, help me to be consistently humble in your presence, Lord. Take away any kind of pride that is in my heart that can distract me. In in this journey, in this race, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, raise up the prayer, Masukata ya Bradosha, Lembrekete Maluzi Kate ye Bredesha. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. We're going to be taking the next prayer point from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. That says, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. We're going to raise up your voice to the Lord and say, Lord Jesus, please hold my hands. Do not let me fall. In the mighty name of Jesus, when you hold the hands of the Lord, you could allow that hand to slip off. But when the Lord is the one holding your hands, it does not allow your hands to slip off. Say, Lord Jesus, 
Jesus, please hold my hands. Do not let, oh God, Daddy, even your, your presence, oh God, leave me. Do not let my hands slip off from your hands, oh God. Lord Jesus, please hold my hands. Father, please hold my hands, oh God. Do not let me fall in the name of Jesus. Makasut. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We're going to be taking the next prayer point from Revelation chapter 3, verse 16. It says, So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor ox, I will vomit you out of my mouth. The Lord will not vomit you out of his mouth in the name of Jesus. We're going to raise up a prayer to Jesus and say, Lord, help me not to be tired. Help me not to be weary. Help me not to be lukewarm in this my Christian faith and journey. In the mighty name of Jesus, I do not want you, Lord, to spew me out of your mouth. Help me not to be lukewarm. Help me not to be lazy. Help me not to be weary. Your word says, oh God, I must be not, I must not be lagging in diligence. I must be fervent in spirit serving you, God. Help me, Lord, not to be lukewarm so that you will not spew me out of your mouth. In the name of Jesus, raise up that prayer point unto the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We're going to be praying the next prayer from Matthew chapter 24, verse 13 says, but he who endures to the end shall be saved. It's only those that endures to the end that shall be saved. We are going to raise up the prayer and say, Lord Jesus, do not let me backslide. Do not let me renounce the faith. Do not let me renounce my faith in you, Jesus. Help me to stand. Help me not to backslide. Help me to endure to the end. Oh God, no matter what comes, help me to contend earnestly for the faith. In the mighty name of Jesus, raise up that prayer to Jesus right now. God, I will not backslide. I will not renounce the faith, no matter what comes. In the name of Jesus, raise it up. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We are going to be taking the next prayer from Romans chapter 6, verse 14. Romans 6, 14 says, For sin shall not have dominion over me, for I am not under the law, but under grace. Sin shall not have dominion over me. Sin shall not have dominion over you. In the name of Jesus, we are going to raise up this prayer and say, Lord, Help me to do away with every weight of sin. Sin shall no longer have dominion over me by the grace of my Lord Jesus Christ. Say, Lord Jesus, take away every weight of sin for me. Everything that forms as a weight in my life, everything that distracts me, that can hinder me from finishing well. Father, please take it away. Do not let sin have dominion over me from under the grace of my Lord Jesus Christ and under, not under the law. In the mighty name of Jesus, raise it up to the Lord in prayer. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. The next prayer point we're going to be taking from Matthew chapter 25, verse 4. And it says, But the wise took all in their vessels with their lamps. We're going to want the theme song for the movie when one of the lyrics says, Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning, keep me burning to the end of age. We're going to pray, Holy Spirit, don't let me run out of your oil. Give me oil in my lamp. Help me to keep burning for you till the end of the age. In the name of Jesus, raise it up to the Lord in prayer. Raise it up, raise it up and say, Holy Spirit, do not let me run out of your oil like the foolish virgins. But help me to have oil in my lamp until the very end. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The next prayer point is from Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. And it says, If I I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. We're going to say, Lord Jesus, help me to do away with the works of the flesh. Help me to do away with the works of the flesh. Those things that can hinder me in my walk with you in this race that I'm running. Lord Jesus, help me to do away with the works of the flesh. In the mighty name of Jesus, raise up that prayer to Jesus. Raise it up, raise it up and say, Lord Jesus, please help me to do away with the works of the flesh. In the mighty name of Jesus, most raise up the prayer points to the lord in the name of jesus in jesus name we have prayed the next prayer point will be taken from the book of jude 3 it's just a chapter so we're going to be reading verse 3 it said beloved why i was very diligent to write to you concerning our common salvation i found it necessary to write to you exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith 
which was once for all delivered to the saints. Our prayer is, Lord, please help me to contend earnestly for the faith, O oh God, especially in these end times, Lord. Help me to contend earnestly for the faith that has been delivered to me, Lord. In my family to contend, O oh God, Daddy, for this faith that I have in you, Jesus. Help me to contend earnestly for it. Raise it up to the Lord in prayer. Lord Jesus, help me to contend, O oh God, earnestly for this faith, even as so many things are warring with this faith. Oh God, help me to contend earnestly for this faith in the mighty name of Jesus. In, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. The next prayer point we'll be praying, we say, Lord Jesus, help me to do your will and help me to make heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, help me to do your will and help me to make heaven. In the name of Jesus, I choose the will of the Lord, for the will of the Lord is wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord, for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. In the name of Jesus, help me to stand, help me to make heaven at last. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We're going to pray the next prayer from the book of Matthew, chapter 26. Matthew, chapter 26, verse 41. We're going to pray from uh, Matthew 26, verse 41. And it says that, Watch and pray lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. We are going to say, God, help me to watch till the very end. Help me to watch and pray, even till the very end, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, help me to watch and pray even till the very end, Lord. In the precious and mighty name of Jesus, O Mazokatai Bredesha, raise up that prayer to the Lord. Raise up that prayer to the Lord. Lord, help me to watch and pray even to the very end, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We're going to be praying. The next prayer from the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 11, it says, Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have, that no man may take your crown. No man will take my crown in Jesus' name. I want you to declare it to yourself and say, Lord, make help me that no man will take my crown. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, help me that no man will take my crown. In the no man will take my crown. Help me hold the spirit. Let my crown be intact. Ah, Lord Jesus, help me to take it to myself. Help me to hold fast what I have. My faith in you, Lord, that no man will take my crown. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We're going to be praying, taking the last prayer point from the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 8 to 9. Revelation 19, verse 8 to 9. The Bible says there, and to her it was granted to be arrayed in fine linen, clean and bright, for the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints. Then it said to me, Write, blessed are those who are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, these are the true sayings of God. Hallelujah. We're going to pray lastly and say, Lord Jesus, help me to make it to the marriage supper of the Lamb. I will not miss it. Help me to make it to the marriage supper of the Lamb, O oh God, in the precious and mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. Lord, we just want to say thank you. For all these prayers we've prayed. Thank you, Jesus, because you've answered us. We know that you are faithful. You said in your word, you said, oh God, this is the confidence that we have in you, that when we ask anything according to your will, you hear us. Thank you, Lord, because we know that you've heard us, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you for joining me to pray these prayers. But I just want to make an invite. If you have not given your life to Jesus, uh, that's the first step before you pray this prayer. That's the first step. You need to put your faith in Jesus. You need to trust in him. You need to hand over your life and your fears to him because this life is you're just passing by. You, the way you live your life in this life, in this on this earth, determines where you spend your eternal home. So I want you to make that decision for Jesus today. If you have not done so, if you have not given your life to Jesus, if you are ready to do that, I want you to say this short prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I know that I've sinned against you. I know that in sin did my mother conceive me. 
Oh God, please wash me clean with your precious blood. I repent of my sins. I forsake them. Write my name in the book of life. And please help me to grow in the knowledge of whom you are. Give me your Holy Spirit and help me to do your will all the days of my life. And at the end of it all, let me make heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have said that prayer, I just want to congratulate you and wish you well. In this, your newfound faith, kindly find a Bible-believing church and begin to worship with other Christians so that you can grow. Also, you can get yourself a Bible, please. It's very important. Study the Word of God. That's the, direct, that's the manner to direct you on how to live and to please God in this new faith that you just found. And also, I want you to take time to pray every day to fellowship with God. That is the way you can get to know God more. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will help you. Thank you very much and God bless you. So if you have not watched the movie Win, kindly click on the link in the description and watch that movie right now. God bless you. Bye for now.